in Christ alone. happy to see you guys on this now now it's beautiful I don't know where you are right now in the country um in Texas and Houston the weather was so awful last night I woke up at 4 40 in the morning to a thunderstorm knocked out the power from I mean the power was out when I woke up at 4 40 until um 11 16 so we had no power for a long time so <laughs> I ate cold steak for breakfast it was great hello so I hope <laughs> that you have no thunderstorms where you are right now and if it's as beautiful for you as it is right now for me looking out my window it's gonna be amazing hello okay is it Ian is that right uh, it's so, I don't always know when I look at people's screen names what your name is until I look at your profile, so I think that's right. And this next song, In Christ Alone, I hope that you know it and you will sing it with me. I don't need a cake like that. I already did that one. I do, I do want to do, How Great Is Our God? Okay, let's do that one. Chris Tomlin, yes. Okay, good. I'm so glad I got that right. Um. Chris Tomlin and Ed Cash and Jesse Reeves wrote How Great Is Our God, and it is one of the most popular uh, contemporary Christian songs since it came out. And um, I, Ed Cash, I got to meet him in May, and he is just amazing. And his, I met his son and daughter, and they make up the band We the Kingdom, and I will play one of their songs later. So sing along with me if you know how great is our God. Love it. I'm so glad. Okay. The splendor of the peace. Preston's on my Facebook live and she was my dance teacher in college and I hope you're doing awesome because 
it's been a long time since I've seen you. And Priscilla, hey, how are you? I'm so glad you made it today. I'm so glad you made it on today too, Corey, because I haven't seen you in a while, in a couple weeks, and so it's nice to see you. And now, let's do a little, a, let's do a really, really old one. So Holy, Holy, Holy is from the 1800s, written by Bishop Reginald Heber, Herber, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And so when I was a kid, uh, I learned sign language in middle school, and my pastor's wife did the sign language while my pastor preached. Hey, Richard, it's so good to see you. Um, I learned, so my mom used to pay my pastor's wife's daughter, well, my pastor's daughter, Anita, who is a year older than, I, than me, uh, to teach me sign language after school once a week. So holy, this is an H, holy. So holy, holy, holy goes in a circle and you just so like that. So you can do holy, holy, holy while I sing. Missing worship time so much. Thank you. Well, you know, you can worship anywhere. And I've been listening to uh, Transformation Church's podcast and listening to some of the old sermons and Michael Todd's got a series on worship and that's kind of that's what I'm on right now and worship is not just about the music it's not it's not just the slow song at church worship is whatever you do to talk to God that's communicating your love for God and so you can worship with me today I would love to do that with you and okay so holy, 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 remember holy with the H. And let's sing that together if you know it. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. hymn it's so interesting to do these hymns um compared to uh, country music because if you've heard of three chords in the truth like you pretty much have like three chords the whole song and these hymns <laughs> there's a lot of chord changes in hymns ian says bravo amen thank you thank you thank you so i want to know one thing that you are thankful for on this Worship Wednesday, so if you'll go ahead and type that in the chat. I am currently thankful for this sunshine on my window right here. It's beautiful considering all the rain that we had this morning. Very, very thankful for the sunshine and that it's cooled off a little bit. So that's very cool, very nice. I did not get to go out and get my, my sunrise um, I go out in the mornings and drink my brain coffee and watch the sunrise, although in my neighborhood you can't really see the sunrise, but <laughs> you can sort of see over the houses, and I did not get to do that this morning, and also, because the power was out, I literally made my brain coffee on the grill this morning. I boiled water on my grill and then used one of those little, um, handheld blender thingies to blend it up it's so not the same and my french press so it was all completely non-electric so that was that was a first for me but it honestly reminded me of when i was a kid and i went camping one time and we made coffee or i'm pretty sure i did not drink coffee but we were making a lot of stuff on the campfire you know what i mean did you ever do that i'm not a camper but i did that one time my salvation Corey says her salvation is what she is thankful for that is, yeah, always something to be thankful for because then you know you're going to heaven at the end of this 
So if you have something that you are thankful for or multiple things you are thankful for, go ahead and type that in the chat. That would be awesome. Let's sing some Joyful Joyful from 1907 by uh, uh, Henry Van Dyke. And it was written to the famous tune, Ode to Joy by Beethoven. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory. Joyful, joyful. Another question for you guys. What is something that you miss that we are in shelter in place? We are doing our self-isolation. What is something that you miss? Me? I miss live music. And I have performed on stage since I was six years old. And I go to shows all the time. Or I did. And it was you know, when everything got shut down, actually got a bunch of tickets refunded that I had purchased already. So what is something that you miss? Parks and recreation. Wait, you mean the show? Or you mean going to parks and, and having recreation, doing things at parks? Because I'm pretty sure there's some reruns. <laughs> Fellowship, missions, trips. Oh, you know, man, and, and I sponsor a kid in Ecuador. And because all that, all the Compassion International sites are shut down too. And, and I know that I've been trying to check updates and stuff's kind of not so good there either. Well, it isn't good at all in the whole world. But, and I just, I wonder about my kiddo. So I wonder how he's doing. He's, I have a 16 year old in El Salvador. Activity, haha. <laughs> yes, Ian, <laughs> activity. I hear ya. <laughs> I was just kidding. Blessed Assurance, written by Fanny Crosby and Phoebe Knapp in 1873. Fanny Crosby was a blind lyricist. Blessed Assurance, sing with me if you know it. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is assurance for you. Hey Scotty, great to see you on here. Hi. Uh, uh, now I will get to a song written in 1912 that you may know by an Alan Jackson cover of Old Rugged Cross. It was written by George Bernard in 1912, but Alan Jackson has covered it and it's beautiful. Um, 
something positive that has come out of this. Go ahead and put that in the chat if you have something that positive that has come out of this. For me, honestly, my life hasn't changed much because mm, my whole world got turned upside down this past summer. So a lot of things changed for me personally and my career, my job and everything. Uh, so it's kind of, kind of been the same, except that I work out at the gym sometimes and sometimes at home. And so I had a, a 90 day program that was only at the gym that mostly I, only one day a week I could actually do at home because it had so many different machines. So I have missed going to the gym and then I go to the spa uh, all multiple times during the week for red light therapy and infrared ray therapy and salt therapy and all this stuff that's, you know, supposed to, I have multiple sclerosis, I have Hashimoto's, so it's supposed to help combat some of that stuff. So that's closed too, except I just got an email. They are opening back up on Friday. So yeah, some places are opening. So I guess maybe I'll be able to go back to that. I wonder when the gym is going to open. Worship Wednesdays. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It has been, this did come out of, I used to do, um, kind of, I started a long time ago doing a uh, live stream with my old band with one of the guys. And, uh, so now I'm solo. And so, yeah, I guess this did come out of, of being home in the middle of the day on Wednesdays. So yeah, that is something positive. Thank you so much, Corey. Old Rugged Cross, 1912. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And I Watershed 77. What's your first name? I don't know that right now. Thank you for joining Worship Wednesday. And I hope that you'll sing along with me if you know some of these songs. As Corey pointed out, something positive that has come out of this stay at home is that Wednesday at 2 p.m. I started doing hymns, mostly the old, old hymns and doing them with my country spin on them. And so that I could, so we could focus on something positive, focus on he who created us. And I hope that it has meant something to you as well. And this next song is my current favorite contemporary Christian song. I'm quite obsessed. It is called Holy Water. It is by Ed Cash and the band We The Kingdom, which is Ed and his son and daughter and a couple other people make out the band. And they are amazing. Go watch on YouTube their live versions of Holy Water. They're just ugh, phenomenal. They have some other amazing songs out too. This came out last summer. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please, again, I need you.
is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. I like the sound of a symphony to my ears. Like holy water, your forgiveness. Go watch that whole song on YouTube. Like, not now, but but when we're done, which will be soon. I want to um, make sure you know that I have a brand new song coming out this week, and I will be playing it for you a little later, but I hope that you will be on the lookout for that brand new song called uh, Ready to Fly, and my current single, hold on. Oh, my current single, his chain breaker. Have you heard it? Have you heard that on Spotify or iTunes? What do you listen to? I think I have the biggest audience on Spotify, but that's mostly worldwide and iTunes is mostly US. So my biggest population, I guess, of fans is actually in Canada. So I may have to go to Canada to play some shows or something. <laughs> But where do you listen? Do you listen on Spotify? Do you listen on iTunes? YouTube? Hello? Um, I think, let's see, I see, I see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Chain Breaker for you right now. Give me a second to get that turned on. Anybody? Where do you listen from? Anybody? Anybody? Well, this is my current single, and it is, it's a cover that was written by Zach Williams. And when he wrote it, the record label signed it instantly, and it was instantly a number one hit. So that's, that's pretty cool. And the reason I put that, this song out is because uh, I had a lot, I've had a lot going on in my life in the last year. And I, quite frankly, I was supposed to have put out a, an up-tempo love song first, and I didn't have one because I couldn't write those. And so this song I just love, and I wanted to cover this anyway, and it means a lot, Chain Breaker. It's about like, when you have things in your life that you just can't, like an addiction that you can't kick, and uh, once upon a time, I had an addiction to alcohol, and the guy that I was dating one time said, I hate being around you when you're drunk. And that, like, floored me, because I was like, what? I don't want you to hate anything about me. And so I probably only got drunk, like, three, four times after hearing that. And I've quit completely for the last uh, year and a half, almost two years, I think. So... Chainbreaker is a freedom song, and my next single that comes out this week is also a freedom song. So that's kind of my my theme right now for life. Here is Chainbreaker for you guys. <laughs> There's a better life. 
single chain breaker on all streaming platforms. I hope that you have listened to that already. And if you haven't, go listen to that as soon as we're done. So if you didn't know, I have a virtual tip jar that is on PayPal and on Venmo at Pamela Mary and on the Cash app at Pamela Mary Kiefer. So if you want to share some love in that virtual tip jar, that would be very much appreciated. Very, very, I would be very grateful for that because as a vocal coach and as an artist, I don't have a job. I'm one of those people without a job right now. So if you appreciate any of this, feel free to drop anything in that virtual tip jar. Here's something cool. Spotify just added, if you go to Spotify, find me as an artist, Pamela Mary, you can click on my Cash App link, and even if you just donate $1, they will give me $100. Like, it's for real. It's this, it's like, you know, the stimulus thing, but it's, it's this artist thing. So Spotify is helping artists. So if you go to Cash App or Spotify and click on my Cash App link, and you donate just $1, they will give me $100. It'll be like, you gave me a $100 tip, and I would be very grateful for that. That would just make my day, because I don't have a job right now. Aside from that, so I'm coming out with this new song this week, and what's today, Wednesday? I have a music video coming out for the song. I have a lyric video coming out for the song. I have merch, t-shirts. So I'm very excited about the song releasing this week, and I hope that you will like it a lot too. So you'll want to, you know, stream it a whole bunch, and maybe you'll want one of the shirts. Maybe you'll want to tip me a dollar for it. This is Ready to Fly coming out this week. Yeah. 
thank you all for hanging out with me in the middle of the day on Wednesday for Worship Wednesday. I hope that you are doing awesome and I would love for you to send me some hearts, some likes, something or other if this made you smile at all. If you want to drop anything in the virtual tip jar, Pamela Mary, Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App, Pamela Mary Kiefer, one dollar. They'll donate. Spotify will donate. Tip one hundred dollars. So that would be really super cool. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you are blessed. And let's not let that guitar fall over. And I hope that I will see you again next Wednesday, two o'clock, Worship Wednesday. Short and sweet.